Details about the murder of 33-year-old nuclear engineer Alexander Restrepo. Four arrests have been made, and some of those suspects, they appeared in court today. Let's get right over to Local 10 News reporter Terrell Fournay, live in Miami with those details. Terrell. Well, you may remember the first big break in this case came just last week with the arrest of one person, but Miami-Dade police detectives believed all along that a group of people was responsible for the stabbing death of this 33-year-old man. They even promised more arrests. Well, those arrests came just over the weekend, and those individuals were each uh, in front of a judge inside of bond court just today. What's your name, sir? Alejandro Chavez. Alejandro Tapia is one of a trio of suspects arrested over the weekend in connection with the murder of a nuclear engineer. Andres Feo. Andres Feo and Sebastian Zarila were also picked up by police. Cops believe they each played a role in the murder of 33-year-old Alexander Restrepo. But a fourth man, Edwin Rios, arrested late last week, is accused of actually using the knife that took Restrepo's life. Restrepo was attending a house party in southwest Miami-Dade a little more than a week ago. There was an argument at the party and Restrepo and his friends decided to leave. Restrepo's brother was also in attendance and once outside, the Restrepo brothers were physically attacked, as Christopher Restrepo told us late last week. He saved my life because he was fighting off I don't know how many guys. Chris was slashed but survived and he says that Alexander tried to protect him and was ultimately critically stabbed and later died at a hospital. Mr. Fayo was in a fight where somebody died as a result of somebody else's actions. A pair of defense attorneys tried to sway a judge that their clients played no role in the actual murder, but in the end, the judge just didn't buy it. We're asking the court for some sort of a bond in this case. Okay, the court respectfully denies the request. And for right now, the three latest men to be picked up by police are being held without bond, but the probable cause hearing for those three individuals has been reset for tomorrow. Bottom line, the judge wants to hear some more information, some more details from the detective investigating this case before a determination is made about their bond. Reporting live from Miami, I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.